Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4 with Turg and Jim. Uh, apologies, I look a bit messy. My lockdown hair is coming in again, but hey, it kind of suits the game because well, my utilities have been shut off and I look like a guy whose utilities have been shut off. <laughs> All right, let's jump into the game. All right, so we're on a money-making mission. We're trying to make some money in this game. Oh, yes, the lottery. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the game answered my prayers. That was way too in sync. What would be a great idea now is to get as many people in my family as possible <laughs> to get them all to get lottery tickets. Turg, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm heading out for the day. <laughs> God damn it, this had more people before I killed them. <laughs> Uh, where else can we go? What about up here? Oh, bag face family. I'll fit in perfectly. I like how everyone fixed when I removed that weird face mod I was using, but then you got Cyclops over here <laughs> who just didn't revert for some reason. All right, head over to their house and uh, bring bring a kid. This one, Clark. Use him as sympathy to get into their household. <laughs> then they'll realize it's not even my kid. The thing is, while I'm here, I might steal some furniture if I can as well. That's what I was going to say originally. We're going to try and make some money and steal some furniture for the house. Wait, is that an urn? Oh no, that's just a, a vase. I like your style though. <laughs> but they're in the room. Oh, what about these? No, they can't be worth much. They are tacky as I don't know what. All right, who's the weak link here? Who looks like they could use a friend? This guy's hanging out with children, so probably him. Hey, <laughs> waving across the couch and there's a kid in the middle. Uh, once again, Terry's just happy to be here. We're not even talking to him. Purchase lottery ticket. They're a hundred dollars? <laughs> that's a quarter of my money. And now with Terry buying one, that's half my money. <laughs> He's in Inspired after spending a hundred dollars. Oh god, he's getting tense because he hasn't stolen something in a while. All right, let's get upstairs, steal something real quick, and then come back try and make friends. Wait, recently caught? What did he try and steal himself? Feckin' Egypt. <laughs> he just can't resist. <laughs> Look at him now. <laughs> In the garden. <laughs> eating this camper stew under an umbrella. Jim, you're not here to have a picnic with Turg. We were supposed to make friends with the family. Look at this guy frying his eyes out. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely my way and He's stupid. <laughs> okay, yeah, now he's sitting out with us in the rain under the umbrella. He's the perfect amount of stupid. Friendly gift. There we go. An incomplete hazmat suit. I'm trying to get rid of the junk in my inventory, so this is a good way of becoming friends while also getting rid of my trash. You know what they say, one man's trash is... Well, in this case, another man's trash. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're just gonna have to throw that away. It's completely useless. <laughs> Even he's pissed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, uh, yeah, clap at your own little joke there. <laughs> okay, now they're good friends. I has to move in. <laughs> All right, you know what? Just so it's an even trade and we have a hostage in case they do anything bad to Jim, take the kid in the meantime, Turk. Come on, don't be so sad, dude. Turn that frown upside down. You'll get your kid back eventually. Also, there's a, an admin fee to the f other family. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, first things first. As the new man of the house, you all have to buy lottery tickets. Oh, wait, that's that kid I brought over. We don't need you anymore now. Wait, this is my son. How, how is this my son? I mean, still, my point stands. Um, we don't need you anymore. Please leave. I did not know you were my son until I just saw parenting. And then I was like, uh, really? Uh, send him home. Wherever your home is, kid. I'll see you around. I'll, I'm a good dad, I swear. We're bringing out the cake and then sending the kid home. Bye-bye. See, see you later. No cake for you. Why is he dripping wet? Oh, because it's still raining outside. Well, best of luck, kid. It's best you learn now that it's a tough world out there. It's just going out into the rain. Oh, nice rug. Put an inventory. Take that. Oh house is gonna be stripped of little furnishings by tomorrow and then he's just gonna miraculously decide to move out hopefully with some lottery winnings what the hell they've got like an indoor little garden here oh my god they're growing their own stuff i don't like that there we go there will be no planting under my roof <laughs> this is the guy who just moved in there we go now that whole room is going up in flames and well no one's even aware because they're all downstairs and thinking there couldn't possibly be a fire upstairs all we have up there is plants it would have to be some kind of Evil magic or something. You can go to sleep, Jim. You've had a long day. We just gotta sleep till the morning and see if we've won the lottery. That fire is raging in there. <laughs> it's spreading to the hall <laughs> as Jim sleeps in a child's bed <laughs> one room over. This is the longest a fire has gone unnoticed in I don't know how long. Oh, wait, this person's a kid? They're at school? I thought they were a fully grown adult. God, that fire is loud. Kid, come home. Yeah, skip school. I'm your dad now. <laughs> I tell you what goes. His only option is to call the fire department. It's as if subconsciously he knows something's wrong. No, we're gonna wait out that fire. If you react to the fire, you're letting the fire win. How about that for a life tip? Oh, they've got a smart light set up. Look at this. 
Yeah, I'm sitting in all the green and all lights on all the time. How is that for obnoxious? They're probably having a family meeting like, uh, why are we letting this new Jim Pickens guy decide everything in the house? He demanded our son comes home from school to make cakes for us. Why do they love cakes so much? <laughs> There's cakes everywhere. Come on. You can't even blame me at this point. There's no way you can't hear or feel that fire upstairs. Okay, now the air around the stairs is on fire, which is never good. You don't want to see that. I've got an idea. I lock the downstairs bathroom. Then someone will have to go up. Oh, wait, Jim discovered the fire <laughs> because it entered his room. All right, let's go over and sleep in the next room. Oh, someone's come up and immediately caught fire. Oh my God, they're all using the stairs and catching fire. Jim, get out of there. Oh no, Jim's on fire. Extinguish self. There you go. He's a feckin' genius when it comes down to it. There we go. Now he's locked in the bathroom. Nice and safe. He's where the water is. <laughs> this person is burning to death and Bagface is putting out the fire. Good thing he came home from school. <laughs> right, sonny boy? Oh, he put it out through the wall. Ah, he's a good kid, really. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he didn't have a lottery ticket anyway. That, that's the one I don't care about. You didn't even return the favor. You just kind of look annoyed with him that he's on fire. <laughs> oh, boys will be boys. <laughs> Setting themselves on fire and whatnot. All right, I'm locking you in a room too, because you're just going to interfere. There we go. You're locked in there with the paintings. The highly flammable paintings. You know there's a fire department in the game now, right? You could call the fire department. <laughs> that one got bored of the fire and is just leaving. <laughs> She's got other stuff to do. Oh, oh, the kid just died. You know, I don't want to place the blame on anyone, but you kind of got to blame the guy who wears a flammable bag on his head. I'm just saying. Like, he probably won't even get an insurance payout on that one. Oh, now that toilet's on fire. Call the fire department. God damn, this family needs so much care and attention. Honestly, how do they manage without me? I mean, granted, I wasn't there to start the fire, so they probably didn't have to deal with a fire, but that's kind of irrelevant now. Like, there's a fire. We just got to deal with the thing. I don't think the Grim Reaper will take kindly to being sprayed with that. You might want to be careful. There we go. All done. And look, we got an insurance payout. I'll take that if you don't mind. <laughs> and to think, that all started because they tried to illegally grow plants in their household. I'll take your son's urn now if you don't mind. He didn't even have a lottery ticket. He's irrelevant to us. <laughs> She's still in there like, can I come out now? <laughs> uh, no, the, the fire's still going. It's been three days. <laughs> yep, it's, it's still going out here. Yeah, lots of fire everywhere. Uh, why were they trying to make so much cake? Resume white cake. Resume white cake. Resume white cake. Resume white cake. Cake. Resume white cake. Cake. Eat white cake. Eat white cake. Eat white cake. And then there's two more- three more white cakes. Oh, and don't forget resume white cake over there. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and one more. Resume white cake. You know what? I could really go for some white cake right now. Wait, the lottery was successful. Oh. No, that's just, he had a great time because he bought a ticket. Okay, I, I actually got excited for once in my life. Jim swiped an object while at work and then it came up. Congratulations on starting your element collection. Why would he even steal that? All right, I got a counter, uh, a knife rack, a sink, a stainless steel auto pot, another countertop. I think Jim is saying he wants a kitchen remodel. God, look at the state of the place. The green tint makes it look so much worse. It looks like a drug den or something. I don't know if this is just the curse of Jim, but everything starts breaking every time he's around the place. Or maybe it's just the excessive usage because of all the cakes you're making for some reason. I'll take a piece, but I'm still angry at you. <laughs> So is God. <laughs> you hear that? He's pissed about all these cakes. Oh, someone's sleeping in there. Okay, lock the door. <laughs> Just locking them all in. <laughs> oh, they're in there too. Lock the door. Right, they're all locked away now. Now wake her up and go to sleep. <laughs> They've had a rough day, <laughs> but I'm not allowing you sleep to forget it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she went in the ensuite. That was a mistake as well. Now you're locked in there. Oh, wait, I just realized this one survived. What the? No, we can't allow this. There we go. Okay, now back to sleep. Oh, God, and it's just on the other side of the wall from this lady. But don't worry, love day starts tomorrow. Emily Styles? Who the hell is Emily Styles? That's not any of you. One thing is for sure, with these winnings, she may have suitors and long lost cousins lined up around the block. And I'll be first in line. Where is Emily? Why don't they filter out all the dead people and babies I don't want? <laughs> I just want to find Emily. God, these people don't know anyone. <laughs> it's so small, even with their dead son on there. I gotta find that Emily lady. Wait, who are you? How did you get in the house? <laughs> oh, I know you. I killed your mother. Yes, of course. How can I forget? Sorry. Well, she's dead. I'm leaving, but the oh, the woman got caught on the fire on the way out. Freaking idiot. He's having a great time. All right. Emily. No. Emily. No. He's just still having a chuckle out here. He's like, oh god, the amount of times this happens to me. 
<laughs> the happy little tune it plays just as someone dies. He doesn't even care. He walks on by. I was just about to say, let's fight fire with fire. And I was going to light the fire department on fire when it doesn't let you. You can't do magic when there's fire on the lot. All right, 286. That's mine too. And, and this is mine. I'm going home to my Turg. Thanks for the memories, everyone. It's been real. I will see you later. Wait, oh my god, I just arrived and Turg started a fire with the barbecue. That wasn't even me. For the third time today, Jim, would you mind calling the fire department? He may as well have him on speed dial at this point. Hey, yeah, it's it's me again. Yeah, um, uh, it wasn't really me, but I, I need your help again. Turg, please get out of that child. Um, This is really uncomfortable. I <laughs> Alright, can I talk to you about moving back in, please? Why are you freaking out? The fire's gone. God, they're having a weird interaction right now. What is this? Okay, there we go. Alright, and you owe me roughly 1700 for that fire damage money. That is mine. I caused those fires. I earned it. I forgot to give back the kid. Well, you're ours now, kid. On fairness, there's not much to go back to. The house is kind of fecked and two people are dead. The kid's very hungry, but I don't think Turg knows how to cook. I mean, the last time he tried to make hot dogs, the barbecue went on fire, but I guess he can try again. Oh, for feck's sake, come on. God is definitely angry at what I'm doing here. Oh, what the hell was that? Jesus Christ, it just missed him. What did we get, though? A gift from the gods. <laughs> All right, kid, I made hot dogs. It's up there with the lightning and stuff. You can get some if you want. Oh, God, he got struck by lightning. This is a horrible day. The kid's running inside, but Turg's just still happy to have his hot dog. You get to sleep, Turg. There's gonna be ash everywhere when Jim gets home. Ah, for feck's sake, you were making a mess up here, then. I want to make you hang out there every day now. We'll call you lightning rod. <laughs> Just stick you on the roof. On oh, the solar panel got broken. Oh, the money's leaving as fast as it comes in. Come on, Turg. You may as well get some positive out of this. Go discover fire. Light the bonfire. There you go. You discovered fire. <laughs> Immediately there's a fire dance to celebrate. <laughs> Oh, oh, careful, Jesus Christ. Oh, not only did he discover fire, he discovered that fire hurty. Jim swiped an object while he was at work. You keep swiping weird stuff, don't you? Speaking of swiping, we gotta get out there and do our original plan of trying to get furniture. I need to track down that Emily woman, but I don't know where she lives. Don't think I've been here yet, and that looks like a good house to rob, so I might visit there. Come on in. Okay, perfect. Now, what do I want? Oh, this looks expensive. Take that. Oh, no, the kid's coming, the kid's coming. Okay, I got it. No, never mind. Oh, food, feed me. God, these people are rich. Look at this place. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped into grabbing that statue. There's probably a lot of stuff I could have stolen here. <gasps> I found her. Emily Styles. One million dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> how is that possible? That's how much you get for the lottery? Uh, sorry, kid. I, I gotta go. If anyone asks where that statue is, you uh, you saw nothing. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> this is inappropriate. Please stop. Look, it's just a culture thing. In my culture, that's a compliment to freeze your kid. I'll, uh, I'll leave. I froze her because she saw me stealing the statue. <laughs> and then I ended up getting seen freezing a kid instead, which is a lot worse. I think, anyway. <laughs> All right, uh, let me visit you, uh, lady. I'll bring the fire department this time so I don't have to call them. It would actually save them a lot of hassle if they just followed me around, to be honest. This household is off the utility grid? It's an apartment block on its love day. I love money. I have never met this lady. I just walked in and sat next to her. Zibs, twinkle zibs, twinkle buzz. Snowball. Now he's singing Christmas songs, I think, but she she likes that. That's okay. Where's Turg when you need him? He's sleeping on a park bench somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's my partner in crime. Sleeping next to all the trash. Sleep for Gideon starts in about an hour. Who is Gideon? Oh, yeah, the, the guy I, like, semi-adopted. He's still at home. God, you have nice furniture. Like, look at that for a toilet. If I went into a bathroom like that, I'm not even classy enough to realize it's a toilet. I'm pranking her toilet. I don't know what that means. All right, I, I don't know what I did, so I'm just going to use the thing and see what happens. This is not a good prank, whatever it is. And Turg is just sleeping in her bed now. Okay, toilet is broken. The pee is just rebounding and coming back out by the looks of it. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> I'm shirtless Turg, just checking in. Hey, you mind if I read your browsing history? <laughs> I'm just really into that. I like to get to know people. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> she caught me clogging the trains. Okay, enough is enough. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'll get your money one way or another, lady. I don't know what he just took, but he just swiped something off the wall while she was right there. She's freaking out. 
out. God damn, they must be the most annoying couple ever. One is evil and the other is just clueless. All right, we'll go home for now. But you haven't seen the last of us. Jim's a spellcaster master. How did he do that? Oh, I should make a cauldron or something to make potions. I've never tried that, but I don't know if I have the money because that selfish millionaire won't give it to me. I deserve it. My God, it costs 1350 Please, someone buy that fish. <laughs> if someone bought that fish, I'd have enough money. It's worth two grand. Oh, God damn it. They're repossessing my items instead because I'm not paying my bills. Wait. How are you taking my whole gazebo thingy? At least it was the most useless item besides from me on the lot. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you can't just repossess someone's toilet. He's out here madly trying to sell that fish <laughs> so he can afford a toilet. No, 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 don't take anything else. Come on, please. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> oh, he bought the doll. Okay, great. Now, now buy the fish. Someone buy the fish. Yeah, you want it, don't you? <laughs> just out by the docks and you impulse buy a two grand fish. It's nice. It's only been out for a few days. Yes, they I bought my fish. Now I can buy a cauldron and a toilet. I have a weird lot. <laughs> the things are just kind of thrown everywhere. Look at that. I want that feckin' cool toilet. Oh, wait, I should probably get an off-the-grid toilet, though. Otherwise, my stuff is going to keep getting repossessed. All right, I don't know why it's red. I, I literally have an evil toilet somehow. I didn't think that was possible. Dude, what the hell was that about? He just knocked over my bin right in front of me. Feckin' Chad over here. You're going in the cauldron. <laughs> Crack him open again. <laughs> just to freeze him. <laughs> He's stuck in this cycle now. <laughs> he just keeps refreezing him. You shouldn't even refreeze food. None of mine people. Oh yeah, my yard sale's still going. That, that's over, by the way. You can all leave now. <laughs> Except for, obviously, you, the frozen dude. You're stuck here. Shashubi. Yeah, Shashubi is right. <laughs> Go on, get out. All right, that wasn't a suggestion, you know. That was actually a demand. Leave my house. <laughs> oh god, my spell backfired. I thought it said he was a master in spells. Let's try this again and don't kill yourself, Jim. I'm warning you. There we go. Now it works. You're putting it out. Oh my god, you're lame. Alright, your heroes are gone now. There's no one to protect you. There you go. Now go feck yourself. Alright, he somehow lived, so I'll just freeze him and keep him as like a lawn ornament for now. Turk is just looking at him like, that is some fine craftsmanship. Alright, that has been an eventful day. I think we will leave it there. I'm not sure what to do with this millionaire. I don't think I've ever even ran into a millionaire in The Sims. If you have any suggestions, do let me know, because I don't want to just take the million, because then that feels too easy, you know? I'll have a think about it. <laughs> maybe they could fund some sort of business that Jim could start, or maybe Turk. I don't know. That might be a good idea. But I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching, as always. If you want to see more of me, I post every day, and I also stream over on Twitch. The link to that is in the description. But uh, yeah, other than that, I guess I'll just say I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.